I'm building this miniature tractor and I need a steering wheel for it. I had one for my mini go-kart but it was from plastic. As you can see here it has cracked while I was driving and it got me into a small accident. So I need something much stronger. After some searching to buy one I found out that there are either not in my budget or not the size I need. So I decided to make one myself which came out really cool. So watch till the end to see how easy it is to make one yourself. I'm starting by making this template because this steering is gonna be made from a few pieces welded together and that's gonna help me make all the shapes that I need and of course to see the overall shape that is looking very nice now we can move on So it will be something like this, it will be well, three dimensional let's say. Now we have to cut this round and then we can weld everything together. Let's get to work. The metal that I'm using is from this old saw blade so it's gonna be very tough. I have some marks over here, how it should be, something like that and this goes on top. Now let's get everything welded in place. I don't know what type of steel is that, but it's not easy to weld. And that's it, it came out really good. Now before sticking the wood around, we have to make the hole here, to make this attachment and uh, attach it in place, to see how everything works. Then we can stick the wood, this way we won't damage it afterwards. That's done. It fits nice in here. So I have this walnut plank. That's what we're gonna use for the steering. This is gonna look nice. I am using fast setting epoxy resin which you'll later see that is not the best option. We need to work fast as we have like 5 minutes. So we have to do that as fast as we can. I should have used like a, an epoxy that has much more time. I just finished fixing all these clumps and uh, this is already hardened. I hope this have worked fine and it have pressed well enough. I let it cure for 24 hours. Now we can remove the clumps. It looks like everything is in place and we can take off all the excess material. Well, outside was easy, but we have to do inside, which is not that cool. See you in the half an hour, I think. And 
there you go. I left it for a few days and I found it just like that. Looks like it hasn't been dried enough, as you can see by this lip. So I think that there are three problems. First one is that the metal was too smooth. I need to use a bigger grid to sand the metal for a better grip. Second, the epoxy wasn't right. And the third one, it's wood of course, it had moisture in it and it has shrinked. So uh, this time I'm gonna do everything right, so I hope everything will be cool. And of course we're gonna strengthen this with some bolts. I was planning to do it in the end, but I'm gonna do it now, just in case so we won't get the same mistake again. That looks really cool. And now we are back to filing everything down. There is a lot of sanding, so that's gonna take a while. And we are somewhere here. I think it looks really cool. And to protect the wood I'm gonna give two coats of this hardox oil. This really looks amazing. So I'm gonna do this side with cold bluing to protect it from rust and I'm gonna paint the middle in matte black. Thanks a lot for watching, this was a really cool project, I hope you enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button and share your thoughts in the comments down below, cause that helps me a lot and I'll see you in the next one.